You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. Well, just arrived in Lee for today's big game between Lee Centurions and Salford Red Devils. I've got the team news for you as well. Uh, Salford line up with Gareth O'Brien at uh, full back. Naya Levels is on the wing. Junior South, Josh Griffin, Mason Caton Brown, Robert Louis, and Michael Dobson at half backs. Craig Kopchak, Logan Tompkins, George Griffin, Ben Murdoch Masala, Feliti Mateo, and Mark Flanagan. The bench for Salford as well as Haraki, Luke Burgess, Olsi Krasniki, and Sean Kenny. The Lee starting line is Dreg Matanale, Adam Higson, Mitch Brown, Willie Tonga, Matty Dawson, Martin Ridyard. Josh Drinkwater, Sam Hopkins, Mickey Hyam, Dane Weston, Rennie Mattel, Corey Patterson, Gareth Hock, and on the bench for Lee is Liam Hood, Danny Tickle, Jamie Acton, and Harrison Hansen. We've got about 50 minutes or so to get goal to kick off. Nerves are kicking in a bit now. Come on, Salford. It's half time here at the Lee Sports Village. Salford are trailing by 20 points to 10. It was a good start for himself. We blew a few chances though, you know, broke broke through George Griffith, basically Kitten Brown went through. We had a couple of chances but we, we failed to get over the line. And then Lee came into it on nine minutes with Randy Matau, so, former Salford player, stormed onto a ball, short ball, and then scored for Lee Ridyard, kicking the goal. Corey Patterson scored a couple of minutes later to put Lee 12 points up. And we were really slowing down the ball a little bit there, but basically Kitten Brown. This guy in here is a bit loud. Mason Keaton Brown uh, scored, showed a clean pair of heels to score another fantastic try. O'Brien kicked the goal to get us back in it at 12 points to 6. Uh, Greg McNally then scored a good try for Lee, showing a bit of pace to give him an 18 points to 6 lead. Uh, Naya Levels then uh, got Salford back into it with a score. Uh, Gareth O'Brien could kick off the touchdown to 18 points to 10 and Ridyard has kicked a penalty goal right at half time for Lee to, to extend their lead to 20 points to 10. we have really got to stop the offload, Lee really are, you know, playing the ball quickly. Mickey Irons running the show at the moment, quick playing the ball, good offload, we've got to stop that. If we move the ball, we can score points against Lee, but, you know, it's a game we need, where we need to score first, you would think, in the second half. At uh, half time of the Lee Sports Village, it's Lee 10, uh, 20, it's all for 10.
Well, it's been another, another cliffhanger here at the Lee Sports Billy. So I don't don't make it easy when we come here. That's that's for sure. Anyway, we uh, we got the first points of the second half. Robert Lewis going to try to get the scores back to 20 points to 16. In a tight game, though, Martin Rudyard took advantage, taking a penalty for uh, Lee to extend the lead to 22 16. Hickson scored a try then for, for Lee to extend the lead to 26 16. And then Dawson after. Uh, Ralph O'Brien kicked out on the floor, took advantage and scored from the resulting penalty to extend Lee's lead to 32 16. Salford have come back though in the last couple of minutes. Uh, good try from Ben Mayer and Masala. Uh, kicked by O'Brien and the Mason Caton Brown try at the end to make it 32 26. Four, four times the video ref was called upon and uh, the three of them were disallowed for Salford. And a few contentious decisions there today. A few decisions have gone against us. It wasn't as intense as last week and we caught short. Lee probably deserved it today, just about edging us out here. So next week now is a big game against OKR. It's a game we've got to win now. Disappointing result today for Salford. It's finished. Lee 32, Salford 26. You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review.